Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anil and in this Laravel video tutorial, we will learn about the joins. So we will see what is a join as a theoretical part. Then we will make a controller, import some DB files. Then we will just play with the join and as well as I will tell you that how you can use the where condition with the join also. And at the last, I will ask you a question which is might be very important for your interview as well as your knowledge. If you want to attempt this question in a comment box, then you can attempt. So now the question is what is the join? So just fetching the data from two tables which is uh, interrelated, right, is basically a join. So for example, I just want to show you, I have an employee table and another one I have the company table. In the both table we have a one common thing which is employee ID. So this is the employee's ID because it's directly inside the employees. And company table also have a column with the name of employee ID, right. So now I just want to check that Peter actually working in which company so that I can just use a join and uh, on the behalf of employee ID because this is present in the both table, I can just get the detail of the company also, right? So that's why we can say that the joins are used for getting the data from the two tables when we have the in, uh, interrelated values. Yes, we can also use the joins on the three table and four table and much more when we have the interrelated data in every table. So now let's see uh, with the code that how we can achieve it. First of all, I'm just going to make a controller so that I can just write a code here. So just write here PHP artisan make controller and controller name which is uh, employee controller. Hit the enter. So here we go. We have the controller in the app, and uh, we'll just me close it and open it again. HTTP controllers and here. So I'm just going to make a function here. So let's say my function name is show or something list whatever you want, and let's return here something for a moment like hello from joins and all right. Now uh, let's go to the routes in the web.php and make a route for it. So just put here route and uh, here we can just simply use a get method and uh, just show something your URL name and uh, now let's import your this uh, uh, controller on the web.php so you simply use here use illuminate oh, sorry we don't need illuminate here just use app because we just need to go for this path which is app and all and then HTTP then we can just go to the controllers and here our file name which is employee controller so just simply put here employee controller that's it now in as in second parameter let's took an array and just put here employee controller colon colon class and in the second key of it, let's put a show, which is our function name. You can see that here, right? And at the last, we need a semicolon. And let's remove a one comma from here also. Now that's great. Now let's try to access the show URL. So just simply use here. Oh, my bad, it's a show, right? So we got the hello from the join. Now let's import the db file here so just simply put here use illuminate you know, or even you some people just call it illuminate right then just write a support then just uh, simply put here um, mm, 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 facade then db class so now let's access it our db first of all let's put here db colon which is a table and let's put our table name name which is employees employee not employees let me make it correct spell and uh, let's use the get function so that we can get the old data for a moment then we will apply the joins also so this is working fine. We have we got the two data with the name of uh, Peter and Bruce, and you can see that the both of data is here, right? 
so now let's apply the join for that uh, you can just remove this uh, get function for a moment and just simply write here join and in the join we have a four parameter on one first parameter is on which table we want to apply the join so I just want to apply the join on the company table then uh, on which uh, columns we want to apply on it right so we can just put here employee dot id equal to uh, company dot employee id underscore id right and let's convert this equal to uh, within quotes right like this and at the last you can just put here columns okay so uh, we need to just get method again so you can also just take it in the next line like this now let's try to get the data so you can now you can see that we got the data from the both table like id we got the name and uh, employee id from the another table also right and this is the for the second record so if you just want to get from the uh, data from the, any specific table then uh, you can use the select right so now you can just get the data from let's say employee dot star right and you will get the old data from the employee table and if you just want to get the data from the company then you can use the company dot star and you will get the old data from the company also right so this is the way that how you can use the join and uh, if you just want to use some where condition then you can also do it like uh, where uh, employee uh, employee dot id is uh, let's say um, one and uh, okay right so i don't need to put here equal to just that is enough here now you can see that we got the details of the employee one id right you can see that on employee one id we have a peter at the rate test and here you can see that the id and uh, employee id and all and these details are here right and you can also just uh, apply it on the another table also like company dot uh, name let's say so let's say we have a company dot name like uh, uh, google right and now let's try to access the things right so we got the detail from the company table also right so this is the way that uh, how we can just simply get the detail from two table if you uh, still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box now the time of interview question so uh, i hope this you know about the left join and right join and just tell me that how you can use the left right and inner join in the laravel also so that's all for a moment and don't forget to subscribe my channel and if you have any, if you have any question you can ask me in the comment box also so bye for a moment and god bless you